All right. I know you won't really want to jump into the juicy stuff, but I just want to make sure that you understand on, you know, how to read a credit report and really understand like the algorithm that it take. Right. So let's jump into this part first, where I was want you to really know it's two different credits. It's two different uh, scoring modules out here. Right. So uh, I'm going to show you an example where, you know, we have a FICO score and then we have a Vantage score. And you can look at the two breakdowns, right? You can look at the two breakdowns and you can see why you may have a score difference. Like over here, for instance, like 30, FICO used 35% uh, payment history uh, to reflect the credit report when Vantage score used 40%. And you see credit utilization at 30% on this side when credit utilization only counts for 20% of a credit score on the Vantage model. Credit Karma used Vantage score. FICO use Vantage score. Most lenders use Vantage score, but they don't believe this is wrong, right? So the thing is, is uh, what you try to do is just make sure that you have a blend of all these and all of these different uh, different uh, types, different uh, makeups of a credit report are in good standards. That's all you need to worry about. Just make sure they all are in good standing. All right, so. Let's talk about payment history. Payment history are late payments. All right. So if you got late payments, this this is a good trick, right? So if you got late payments, sometimes they don't bother you. If they over two or three years old, they still will fund you. But if they are recent within the two years or within the three years, man, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna get some low limits, or you might not even get approved, depending on what company it is. So. Make sure that the payment history is together, all right? Credit utilization. This is the biggest key. This right here could cost you from a $25,000 card to a $2,000 card or a $500, $500 card. Uh, so make sure that your credit utilization is low. So I just want to walk through an example for you. All right, so we have one credit card here, credit card one, which is balance is zero, but it got a $5,000 limit. So that's a $5,000 credit card they spent zero balance on. So that makes the credit utilization zero. All right, so now you have a credit card two that has a $10,000 limit, but he only spent $8,000 on the card. I said only, right? But the thing is, is uh, he's at 80% credit card utilization. So if that was one of my clients, I would have to, uh, get that utilization down before we even got started. Um, car three, you got a thousand dollar balance. We see you use a thousand dollars of that card, and the limit is seven thousand. So that's a good card at fourteen percent. Uh, so overall, he got nine thousand dollars in balance limit, twenty two hundred, and the uh, overall utilization is forty one percent. So that forty one percent is is not good. So he's going to have bad funding terms when you try to go. They're gonna give them low limits. So let's go, let's talk about the overall utilization. Overall utilization does matter, but when it comes to funding, you need to have every last one of those cards up under 30% utilization, because they will give you low limits uh, for that. They'll approve you, but they'll approve you with low limits. All right, credit age and history, right? So credit age and history is real important too when it comes to funding. You wanna be at least six, years or better when you start your funding so you can get your maximum results. Six years or better. You want to be in the B and the A category. All right. Uh, total accounts really don't matter, but I just had to go over to this you. I usually start off with five accounts, five or six accounts when you get started. So you may need to add some primaries. We'll talk about primaries later. All right. Uh, we have types of accounts. Uh, Types of accounts revolving in installment that really don't matter when you go into the funding. You just make sure that you have revolving credit. Installment does help, but when you have that revolving credit, you need about five lines of revolving before you start funding to get those high limits. All right, new credit. That's what they call it on the modules, but uh, it's really like inquiries. All right, so once you get up to nine inquiries, uh, they stop funding, so make sure your inquiries low as possible so you can get many chances as possible. Some bureaus only pull from one bureau. Some bureaus pull, I mean, some banks pull from two bureaus. So just be careful and keep your inquiries low. Remember, once you get to eight or nine inquiries, it's over for you. So you can might as well quit trying to get funded. 
Thank you so much. And I want to hurry up and get through that because I know most of you all probably know a lot of this, but I just wanted to put that out there so we can get on to the next class and get to the juicy stuff. All right.